Good morning, you storage warriors. So I want to talk to you about something that really grinds me. It does me in. I wrote about this a long, long time ago, um, and I'm going to talk about it now because I've just seen it again. And something that really frustrates me, and I don't think people get it. People believe the more options you give somebody, the better it is. No, 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 no. Please don't believe that. Please, there's so many books, there's so many papers, there's so many... Uh, tests. <laughs> I don't know. There's, there's been so much research done on this. Confused customers don't buy. The more options you give them, the less likely they are to buy. I was looking at a self storage site, and I'm not kidding you. They must have had, have I got the notes here? Um, yeah, yeah. They had a 15 square foot, a 20 square foot, a 25 square foot, a 40 square foot, a 50 square foot, a 60 square foot, a 75 square foot, an 80 square foot, a 100 square foot, 110 square foot, 125 square foot, 140 square foot, 150 square foot, 160 square foot, 175 square foot, 200 square foot. They had 16, 16 different room sizes. I, as a self-storage expert, bollocks, I'm calling myself an I'm not really, I have no idea. If somebody says I've got a three-bedroom house, I'd be like, nah, I don't know, 100, 160? I don't know. I can't remember. I at last, I haven't been on the ground floor dealing with customers now, so I really don't know. However, I know more than the average man in the street, the average prospect that your company will get. And if I'm confused with all them 16 room sizes, what, what room size is for me? And most people don't forget, before they speak to you, they go on your website. So it's okay saying, oh, yeah, but I can explain it to them. Yes, but do you get a chance to explain it to them? That is the question. And I would say the majority of the time, most website visitors, we know by stats, do not talk to you. And so most of the, your visitors, your prospects are visiting your website and you're confusing them. Why on earth would we confuse people? And so I have a rule of six. I think you should have a maximum of six room sizes, a maximum. By the way, if you're a container site, you should have no more than three, small, medium, and large, simple as that. What is it? I don't know, 45, 50 square foot, um, 80 square foot, and a 160. You don't need any more than that. You do not need any more than that. 35 square foot, whatever it is, small, medium, and large. Have we got more than that at Beverly? Yes, we do. But do as I say, don't, don't do as I do. The only reason we've got more than that is because we couldn't fit things in. We started with small, medium, and large. That is it. And then because we could get more content. So I think, uh, okay, so... I didn't do it right, okay, a Beverly 24 Festival. But the other size units, because we have got 160 square foot as well. Um, and the only reason is because I, that's the only unit I could get at the time. I couldn't get a 50 square foot. And so I had to get a 60 square foot and it fit it in perfectly. So um, that, and I squeezed it in this little corridor area. So at the minute at Beverly, we've got a 35 square foot. We've got a 50 square foot. We've got 75 and 80s, they're the same price uh, because one's a container, one's purpose built. And then we've got 160, 160 square foot. Um, but we don't advertise the 75 and 80 square foot. We advertise them as one. Um, and that is it. So we've got four different unit sizes. Don't get me wrong. I think I've done it wrong. Did we need a 35 square foot? No. But if I'm honest, we modeled, okay, copied another. We modeled, we, we copied whole soft storage. Whole soft storage. We copied their sizes. We copied their units. We copied everything about them, really. I even copied their price, which is ridiculous because they're in Hull and we're in Beverly. And there was a the nearest soft storage operator at the time. So what do you do when you know nothing about storage? You do your research and you copy. Of course you do. Why wouldn't you? And so there's certain elements that I would change now. Even, do you know what? There's an argument to say that a container site, you only need 160 square foot. I know loads and loads of successful sites that only have one unit size, simple as that. And because containers, containerized storage is relative, excuse me, relatively cheap most places, then um, you get away with it. You know, 30 pound a week plus VAT, 36 pound. And so people aren't bored about paying that. And you get extra space. So, my one bit of advice is please, please be crystal clear on your unit size. Do not have loads and loads of different unit sizes. Um, for example, maybe have a 25, a 50, a 75, a 100, uh, a 125 or 150 and a 200. You don't need any more than that. You do not need any more than that. And even the um, the people, like the shop fitters, like Janice, um, Cuboid, etc. When they come and show your plans, don't forget their focus is something different than you. Your focus is should be clarity for the customer and having a maximum lettable square foot area. Their focus is just maximum lettable square foot. That is it. And so um, I think Janice's first design for me was 15 square foot, 25 square foot, 35 square foot. And I'm like, no, 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 no. 
need need six six only. Yeah, but you're gonna lose square foot. You're gonna lose a letable area. I'm okay with that because we can't confuse the customers. I'm okay giving something away to make sure we receive something on the other end. So that for me is absolutely fine. Um, so just be careful when you're taking advice from other people because their their priorities, their aims is different to yours. And so I would have a maximum of six six unit sizes. I went to visit a site the other day and honestly, the lady behind the counter was confused. I was confused and I know self-storage. She works in self-storage. We was both confused. I mean, we had a 10 square foot. Oh, it was just absolutely incredible. It was every single size you can think of known to man. And I just, I, I don't know how she did it. And so you're confusing the operators, you're confusing the customers and confused customers don't buy. Um, let's see if I've got anything. Oh, yeah, I've got something else here. Uh, they will start questioning what size they need. It, the one simple advice that I hear time and time and time again from people like Dave Davies, AJ Osborne, everybody, everybody, um, Mark Helm, everybody is always saying it's your job to be the expert. You need, when you're selling, the biggest, big, well, the, not, not, not the biggest, but one of the biggest, one of the biggest uh, think fundamental things you can do is make sure that you lead the conversation. You're the expert. Even if you're not 100% certain what size they need, you be the expert because they're looking to you for guidance. People want to be led. If you can't lead them, they will go find somebody else. So make sure that you're the expert when you talk about unit sizes. Say it with conviction. Say it with confidence that they need 100 square foot. They need to be led. They need to be guided because whatever... No matter how much you think you know about self-storage, you know more than them. I can absolutely guarantee you. Um, if you have millions of different room sizes, I promise you your conversions will... Uh, oh, yeah, if you have millions of different room sizes, I promise you your conversions will suffer. suffer. Simplify your sizes. Turn 20 square foot into 25. Turn 30 square foot into 25. Do what you've got to do. I think there's a 15% lenience. So they don't have to be exact. I think you can get away... I'm sure it's 15%. Don't quote me on that though, because I don't want to get in trouble. But so for example, if it's a, if it's a 50 square foot, you can get away with advertising at a, a, a 65, uh, a 57.5 square foot. So you've got 15% area of uh, of error there. So 10, 10 or 20 square foot into a 25 square foot or 22 square foot into 20, 25 square foot. No, you won't get away with that. What You get my meaning. Just try to simplify your offer. Turn different size units, downsize them, whatever you need to do, upsize them if you get away with it, but make sure you simplify your, simplify your offer. Um, always try to increase rates than decrease. Don't quote me on that. But, oh, yeah. Uh, so I put here, always try to increase rates rather than decrease them. So if you can get away with it, a 15 square foot into a 20 square foot, including the 15% margin of error, then do that. Try not to decrease them. Always look, first of all, to increase it. Why? Because you can charge more, obviously, can't you? Um, please check with a fit-out company about the margin, margin of error. Maybe even talk to the SSA uh, before you do it. Right. So, guys, do not annoy me. <laughs> Don't annoy me. Six unit sizes only. Um, try to simplify your offering. Confuse customers. Don't buy. Ultimately, I've said a lot of blah, 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 but... The message is confuse customers don't buy. Simplify your offer. All right. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. See you soon. Bye-bye.